Hey everybody, here's a wrap up of what happened today at the Archibald Wynn and Sulman Prizes and what a year it's been, especially for Indigenous artists. Congratulations to Vincent Namajira for winning the Archibald Prize and being the first Aboriginal artist to do so. He won with his painting, Stand Strong for Who You Are, which is a self-portrait with Adam Goods, who famously stood up against racism in this country. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen the documentary, The Final quarter and it was actually seeing that documentary which caused Vincent to reconnect with Adam. The reason I chose Adam is because when I looked at Adam out of a just a one video of Adam it just gave me a flashback of my life and what I went through and I would like also to just say that to other indigenous young artists, they can also achieve what I have just achieved. The Win Prize was also won by an indigenous artist, Hubert Pararulcha, and he is a Western Aranda man. And the story behind this painting is that in the distant past, giant caterpillars called the Yepenye uh, ultimately became this range of mountains known as Joricha. It wasn't for me because it's my country that my father showed me when I first learned to paint and I just keep on going and doing it and I like it. The Sulman Prize was won by Marikit Santiago with a painting called The Divine and it's a painting of her three children and here's a clip of her talking about preparing for that work. Uh, I did a few sittings over a few months with them to get the right lighting and to get the right expressions and it's really difficult to get kids not to smile for a photo. Um, so that was the first stage. And then I think I spent maybe three months um, working on the painting itself uh, in between, you know, daycare and school. And um, yeah, so it was a bit of a juggle and it took, took some time. The trustees also chose a highly commended painting in the Archibald and that was Zaring Hannaford with her painting, Self-Portrait After Allegory of Painting. And um, it was inspired by a 17th century artist and it, she actually painted it using two mirrors. And the Trustees Watercolour Prize was won by Julianne Alcorn with her beautiful work called Militium II. It deals with the landscape and, and regrowth after bushfires. And lastly, the Roberts Family Prize was won by Nunmiti Burton with her painting, Seven Sisters which is also a very large painting, two by three metres and absolutely beautiful. So thanks for joining me for the wrap up of the 99th Archibald Prize.